Well, good evening, everybody. I'm Doug Jenkins alongside Scoop Miller on WOSN, and we are ready for what should be a great non-conference basketball game tonight as the Ottawa Glendorf Titans here at the Supreme Court play host to the Finley Trojans. Both teams coming in at eight and two. Both teams have faced some tough tasks, Scoop. They really have. Both teams currently on a four-game win streak. If you know anything about this series, it's been very competitive over the last 10 seasons. These teams have split 10 games, so tonight's kind of for bragging rights. Well, they're connected by State Route 224, connected by the Blanchard River, and connected by a passion for basketball. Certainly, when you look at Finley, what are the keys that stick out to you? Well, I think uh, for Finley, they have to take care of the basketball. Ottawa Glandorf done a great job of getting points for their defense, creating those live ball turnovers that ended in runouts. They're going to have to value the basketball. I think the second thing, you know, for the Trojans, tonight, they got to knock down open looks. You know, this is an OG team gives up just 43 points a game. You're not going to get many open looks when you do. You've got to cash in. Well, OG's defense has been a hallmark for years and years and years, especially when they're here at a hot home court. What do you look at for the keys when it comes to the Titans? Well, nothing new for the Titans. It's going to start with ball pressure. You know, they get so many points for their defense. You've got to have strong guards when you're playing OG if you want to win. I think the second key for OG, they have to rebound. This has been a strength of theirs but they have to limit those Finley athletes, which are plenty of. They gotta limit their second chance opportunities. They have to create some second chance opportunities for themselves. They do that, they've got a chance to uh, up their record at 9-2 on the season. Oh, I'll be on the line. It's coming up next on WOSN. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Supreme Court here at Ottawa Glendorf High School. Doug Jenkins, Scoop Miller with you here on WOSN. Like we said, this is going to be a great non-conference basketball game. Both teams coming in 8-2, and two, the Finley Trojans and the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. Uh, both teams coming off of a win last night. <laughs> of course, uh, well, for Colin White, it was a special one. We've got the highlights to prove it. Uh, school record 44 points, Scoop. Yeah, just amazing what all this guy can do uh, as a junior. You're going to see him hit a lot of threes. In fact, he had six three balls last night and 44 big points, as you mentioned. He had 30 points at halftime, but he was hitting from everywhere on the court uh, last night. And, uh, wow, somehow the word to get out, you have to guard him uh, <laughs> throughout. You know, he's a guy you want to guard when he's walking to the sideline. He's just that good. But again, plenty of highlights, a school record, 44 points. Oh, you think all the greats that have played at Ottawa Glendorf, the fact that uh, he's topped uh, the Pollitz twins, uh, the shoemakers that have played here, uh, and everybody in between, that is a huge night. Uh, I think the thing that impresses you is not only does he put 44 points in, certainly that's a huge scoring outburst last night, but uh, he's got a lot of weaponry around him, and it doesn't all have to run through him, and that's what makes this Titan team so dangerous this year. Well, you're exactly right. You know, to prove that, Kyle White leads the Titans in assists with over four assists per ball game. So yeah. he's a guy that's going to recognize when his teammates are open, but he's a tough guard. He's got a great supporting cast around him. Most definitely does. He'll need it tonight as they take on a very good Finley Trojan team. Our officials today, Scott Norse, Joseph Allen, and Dennis Morris uh, will have the call for tonight's action. I get the feeling they're going to get a work up up and down the floor as well. Of course, the Trojans are coached by Jim Rookie, 8-2 and two this year. 4-1 and one are the Trojans. They play in the Three Rivers Conference. Ottawa Glendorf also at 8-2. and two. Coached by longtime head coach now Tyson McLaughlin uh, out of the Western Buckeye League. Of course, the Titans unbeaten in Western Buckeye League play, as we just mentioned, uh, and a, a big win over St. Mary's yesterday as well. Yeah, and as you mentioned, both those coaches, two of the best. You know, uh, Coach Rookie picked up his 500th win last season against Toledo St. John's. And, of course, what can you say about Tyson McLaughlin? Been to the state finals four times <laughs> in his 12 seasons here with OG. Last time it was the Trojans that got the better of it in overtime. We'll see how it goes here on the home court for the Titans as they win the tip, bring it across midcourt, pass it to Grant Schrader on the left side, up to White between the circles. Fires it into corner, and there's a three, and that is good right out of the hands of Hunter Steckshawty. And the Titans start off real quick, Scoop. Now Steckshawty comes in, shooting over 41% for beyond the arc, and uh, right on cue, Colin White gets the game's first assist, so great Initial possession by the uh, Titans. Steck now the defense going to work. Steckshawty just about had himself a steal on the long lob pass. Knocked it out of bounds. And the Titans 
patrolling the passing lanes here early scoop. Yeah, that time Grant Schrader is able to uh, get another deflection, and now uh, Finley will have to uh, take it out in the backcourt. They're going to certainly see some pressure here from OG all night long. Sam Ernst will bring it across midcourt. Bounce pass over to his left side where he finds Bishop. Keep it on that left corner. Wyrow in the middle. Wyrow bounce pass over to the right side. Bishop working around the perimeter. It's a smaller Finley Trojan team than we've seen in, uh, in some of the past years. So when you look at the guys like C.J. Adams that they've had and, uh, and some of the athletes, uh, um, more of a guard-oriented team this year. You're right, but uh, both these programs have had uh, athletes uh, year in, year out, and there's a... That's a moving screen. Moving pick. It's going to get called, so uh, nice job there at the defensive end by Ottawa Glandorf. They're able to uh, pick up the turnover via the offensive foul. Well, that's going to be on Brian Montgomery, his first, team's first. Yeah, the Titans get their second look on offense here. Give it to Theo Mag. Mag having himself a really good season, too, by the way. 15 points per game this year. Really a monster on the boards as well. Working around the perimeter to White. White looks underneath. But he's got Mag. Mag trying to back his way in. And first shot not going to go. Gets his own rebound. Why not? Puts it up and in for two. And the Titans lead by a score of 5 nothing. Well, you're exactly right about Theo Mag. Uh, he's another nightmare matchup uh, for anybody. The way he can... Uh, Hurt you inside his length, his ability to play defense, but he shoots the ball so well, shooting over 64% from the field, nearly 80% from the stripe. Another proven weapon for OG. Work the ball around the perimeter to the Trojans. And into the hands of Wyrow. Now Montgomery with it. The very heralded sophomore class that uh, this Finley team has. And you're starting to see some of them come into it. Ryan Montgomery is the Really one of the biggest ones, but uh, they've had a couple of younger classes that are now in high school that uh, really starting to uh, make their presence felt on the basketball court. Over to the right side, now down low, Montgomery picked up, trying to back his way in, high off the window, no good, rebound Mag. Outlet, quickly down the floor to Grant Schrader. Schrader dishes it right back and gives it to Steck Schulte. Column White. Started very closely, down, bounce pass down to Mag. They're going to double team him, Mag. Looks like he got the ball pinned on him. Montgomery was right there, as was uh, Will Cordonier. That's a long three, and that's off the back of the road. No good, long rebound pulled down by the Titans. Coming up with it, Hunter Steckschulte. Steckschulte, been very involved here early in the game. Shot by Colin White, just grazes at the front of the rim. No good, it remains 5-0 here. And we've played just about three minutes in what's been a pretty up-and-down contest, but not a whole lot of whistles. It's moving pretty quick. Yeah, and right now, Finley has to find a way to attack this uh, aggressive man-to-man -man pressure from the Titans. They need to settle in early here. They could be intimidated here at the Supreme Court, as many teams have over the years. Cordania trying to find a way down against Theo Mag. Wasn't there, so back it out to Sam Ernst. And if there's one thing Titan fans appreciate, well, it's great basketball, but there's a second thing. It's great defense, and you see them get a round of applause for deterring the basketball there. Take it inside by Bishop. Now there's the kick out. Shot up, no good. Rebound called in by Caden Erford. Now the Titans go back to work on offense. White out of a double team. Quickly down to Mag. Mag gets caught underneath the basket, takes a dribble, spins back to his right. Hook shot up, no good. Rebound, Podanier will bring it down. A great look by Mag, but credit Finley. They're doing a great job on the defensive glass right now, holding the Titans to one and done. Now the Trojans not giving Ottawa Glendorf really any easy looks as the first Trojan points of the ball game will go in for Luke Wyrow. And the Trojans are on the board, trailing by 3-5-2 with 3.45 remaining here in the first quarter. A long three from the corner, no good. Rebound. Pulled down by Cordania, and it remains a 5-2 ball game. Titans getting some looks they want, but you can't get the ball to fall. Yeah, and credit Finley once again. They're doing a great job with positioning and checking out on that backside. Once again, they hold Ottawa Glandorf to just one shot. Ball with Ernst. Ernst looking low. Bounce pass. One of that backdoor cutter, but that was nicely defended by Steck Schulte along the baseline there. And we'll dish over to Wyrell, puts up a three to tie it. That one gets a kind roll and falls in. And Luke Wyrell has 
All five of the Trojans, five points, but we're dotted up at five apiece, five minutes into this game. Great job by Wyra that time. Shooters touch and then some, and there's going to be a steal here. You know, opportunity as Jake Bishop takes one away. Bishop gets it out to Ernst, takes a three. That's well off the mark. Rebound pulled down. Cade Nerford. Nerford brings it down the floor. Passes up. Gets it to Schrader. Working around the perimeter. It's a nice pass underneath the white. Had trouble corralling it, though. And the ball got poked away from him. Trojans come up with it. A great help defense by mm -hmm. Ryan Montgomery once again. That's able to... Uh, Take it away there from White. So once again, Finley's an opportunity to take a lead. Rodonio gets the ball up. Ernst with it. Titans have had a couple of subs at the scorer's table for a while, but there's only been one whistle to stop play. The ball hasn't even got out of bounds that much. I think a couple of times so far, Scoop. You're right. It's been an awfully quick quarter, but things will certainly get intense here. Both these teams <laughs> are so physical. This can only last for so long. Montgomery to give the Trojans the lead, and he knocks it down from the corner for a three-pointer. A great execution that time uh, by Finley. They get the look they want, and then great transition defense as well by the Trojans as they force an OG turnover. Here you see that three from Montgomery from the corner. He's pumped up about it. Yeah, that's tremendous look that time. Anytime you can catch and shoot in rhythm, Finley has the shooters and the athletes to stretch defenses. So we talked about it. When you get those open looks, you have to cash in. That's exactly what Finley was able to do in that last possession. Dave Westbrook and Levi Underbrick checked in before the Trojans, or excuse me, for the Titans. There's another three, and that time it's Will Cordonier. And it's going to be 11-5, suddenly Finley, 11 unanswered points here. Cordonier once again able to catch and shoot in rhythm. Titans just struggling to find an open look right now. Finley defense has been somewhat suffocating. Long skip pass finds its way over to White, puts up the three. That one's off the front of the rim, no good. Saved initially by West, but then taking, excuse me, Westrick, but then Wyron will bring it down the floor. He's going to pull up and transition. Shot up, no good. Titans tipped it away from themselves, and it'll be Trojan ball, so a miscommunication there with a minute six remaining in the first quarter. Yeah, that's a big break there uh, for Finley. Uh, watch it right here. There's that nice uh, catch and shoot there. Nice look and release there. And right now, Finley doing a great job selling in, but they catch a break. That time, uh, Otto Glandorf had four <laughs> guys there in position to grab that rebound. Finley only had one guy there in the vicinity. Yet they knocked it out of bounds, so a second opportunity coming up for the Trojans. How can the Trojans make the Titans pay for the miscue? They're able to get the ball in, nearly a travel, but then a steal for the Titans. Coming to the left side, there's the dish to Mag, and Mag will put it up and in for two. That's a nice unselfish pass to give it to the open player there. Oh, tremendous find by the senior, Levi Unterbrink that time to find Mag there on the rim run. Great job again by the uh, Titans there in that defense. Titans cut the deficit down to four. 41 seconds remaining, and through the lane, couldn't really get a body on uh, Ertz. Shot up, no good, pardon me, that was uh, Brody Barnes, the junior. Left it just a little bit short. And the Titans with 30 seconds left, operating with the basketball. Pass over to the right side, Erford to Mag, left side where he gives it to Hunter Steck, Schulte. Now you wonder if OG just might hold for the last shot, the fact that Finley will get the basketball to start the uh, second quarter. That's going to be a kick, so the Titans will get the ball again. Quick substitution as Ryan Montgomery, who had come out, going to come right back into the lineup and will replace Will, Con will Cordonier. A great substitution by Coach Rookie that time, uh, trying to set up his defense while also trying to give a couple of his guys a, a little breather here for the final possession of this first quarter. Titans will slowly walk it up the floor with Hunter Steck. Schulte now brings it across midcourt. Jim Rookie wanted to travel on the release of that pass. They had now a long three. In and out, no good. Rebound tipped around. Titans going to try and get one up at the buzzer, and they're able to knock it down. Put in the bucket by Cade Nerford, and we've got ourselves a two-point ball game. After eight minutes of play, 11-9 is your score on the ultimate outdoor scoreboard. We're back with more on WOSN right after this. And welcome back to Ottawa Glendorf High School. Doug Jenkins and Scoop Miller with you here tonight for this not conference matchup. Ottawa Glendorf trailing the Finley Trojans 11 to 9. Tonight's instant replay is provided by Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. And I think we're going to see quite a few instant replay worthy plays here tonight, Scoop. Yeah, no doubt about it. You know, both these teams just oozing with athletes. And uh, a game of runs there in the opening quarter, you know, 
yeah. OG came out, nice 5-0 run to start things. Finley answered with an 11-0 run of their own, but credit OG, that 4-0 run there in the last minute and a half there of that first quarter made this a one-possession game. I had to battle back into the uh, ball game as Chandler Parker. He played his ball at Liberty Benton last year and then opened and rolled back into Finley. He came from Finley to LB, couldn't play in the tournament because of the uh, way the rules work for the OHSAA, but back in, as a Finley Trojan this year. There's Ryan Montgomery with the ball. He'll give it up to Parker. And Parker picked up on the defense by Grant Schrader. Goes to the baseline, cut off by Theo Mag. Really, Mag and Cordania are the, really constitute really the big size in the middle. I mean, obviously, you're going to have Colin White in there, too. He's got size, but plays more as a guard on the outside. Titan fans wanted to walk there, not going to get it. Will Cordania trying to back it in on Mag. Spins back to his right, lofts it up over the lip of the rim, and puts it in for two. Wow, that's a big-time move by Will Cordania. That time, locked in one and one made a nice, sweet uh, baby hook in the paint. Theo Mag trying to back it in on... And just left it a little bit short against Montgomery. Got his own rebound. The putback, good for two. And he was found. He'll get an extra free throw. Oh, what a big-time play by Theo Mag. You know, that was just sheer desire. That time he was locked in one-on-one, -on -one, made a strong move. Watch it right there. Doesn't give a look at the second effort. He takes up strong, has the strength to not only endure the foul, but get it up off the window and in. That's a big-time play by Mag. And he's had an outstanding game here tonight with six points, looking for number seven right here. Could be an interesting foul. That was on Ryan Montgomery, his second, team second, and the free throw no good. So it remains a two-point game, 13 to 11, just uh, over a minute 10 into the second quarter. Run across midcourt by Jake Bishop. We'll give it off to Ernst, right back to Bishop, trying to work that corner over on the far side. He lost the handle on it. It'll go out of bounds. Bishop said it was tipped away from me, but that is not the way the officials will see it. Well, a great ball pressure by Otto Glandorf once again. You know, they're forcing Finley to that sideline. They've got active hands, and that time uh, they catch a break. But again, a solid ball pressure, forcing the turnover. We'll see if the offense can cash in. Colin White comes out to get it, gives it right back to Hunter Steck, Schulte. We're going to try and go underneath, and the ball tipped out of bounds by the Trojans. You know, as much as we've talked about that Ottawa Glandorf pressure, Finley's defense has been equally impressive tonight. You know, they're not giving up any open looks. They've done a great job of really holding their own on the boards. I thought that might be a huge concern coming in. Colin White looking for his first points of the game. Won't go, but Hunter Steck showed the rebound, the kick out, the three from Erford. Finds the bottom of the net. Erford, the three-point specialist, shooting 42% from three-point land coming into this game, and he gives the Titans their second lead of the game, now up 14-13. Uh, great job by the Titans attacking that offensive glass, and that's one of the few times they got second-chance points. That was a nice pass in transition, but it's well defended by the Titans who get the rebound, bring it back down. Steck Schulte gives it up to White. White coming off a career high, a school high, 44 points. Has struggled to get his offense going here tonight. I think they heard you, Scoop. You got to guard him. But well, what? <laughs> Finley's done a great job, and there's a nice uh, straight line drive and a hoop there by Jake Bishop. And we're going to have a timeout, yes, Finley. We, yes, we will. We'll take a timeout as well, and we'll be right back after this on WOSN. Welcome back to the Robert J. Herbiller Gymnasium here at Ottawa Glendorf High School. Tonight's scoreboard presented by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of Structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alt's seamless spouting. Doug Jenkins and Scoop Miller with you here on WOSN. 15-14 is the score in favor of the Finley Trojans here in the second quarter of this non-conference high school basketball matchup. A long three won't go rebound. Steck Schulte came up with it, works it around to Erford, down low to Mag. Mag trying to back it in, coming from the right, high off the glass, too strong, and they're going to get a foul on the Titans for trying to get the rebound there, and that's going to be on Colin White, his first team's first. All right now, Otto Glandorf doing a much better job attacking the glass. Even though they get whistled for the foul that time, I think that's a foul that certainly uh, head coach Tyson McLaughlin's going to live with, the fact that his guys are really being aggressive, putting some pressure on that Finley defense, going after those offensive rebounds. Crazy thing is this only the third total foul of this game. We played almost three minutes here in the second quarter. Inbounds pass, and the Titans going to go full court with their pressure now. Make it a little bit more difficult for Luke Weirau to bring it across midcourt. He's able to give the ball away to Ernst. 
Sam Ernst, nice bounce pass. Again, looking for that backdoor cutter. The Titans have had that scouted well. What they haven't been able to do is stop that shot from the free throw line, but that won't go for Sam Ernst. Rebound comes down. Titans bounce pass along the baseline. Erford gives it up Steckshalty. Steckshalty had someone on his back. No call behind the back pass. Gets it to Colin White. White baseline kick out. Ball got deflected, but Steckshalty was able to come up with a long cross court pass. Grant Schrader had to go up to get it. And the Titans got to reset the offense here. A little out of kilter on that rotation. Yeah, and credit Finley once again. They're getting great ball pressure, really trying to deny those touches inside. Not giving a whole lot of open looks. That's a nice pass by Erford in the lane as he gives it up to Mag. And Theo Mag will put it up and in for two points. He has eight now in the game, and the Titans take the lead back 16 15 halfway through the second quarter. A tremendous play by Caden Erford. He was able to break down that Finley defense, and then he threaded the needle there with a nice pass here. Ended up being an easy deuce here for the Titans. That's a big bucket, puts OG back on top. Trying to run off the high screen, fall away. Bishop, the three, no good. Rebound brought down by Mag. Getting into the lane has been difficult for both teams here tonight. Except for maybe that time. As Grant Schrader found a seam along the baseline, finds his first points of the ball game for two. Well, that time, I think Schrader caught Finley asleep a little bit, not expecting that uh, quick first step and that solid drive. And there's a long baseball pass ahead that hits the rim, and OG comes up with it. Attacking once again. Well, how about that step around by Steck, Shawty, to get the uh, lay-in for two there, and that's going to be a timeout with 3.09 remaining in the second quarter. The Titans lead 20-15. to 15. Jim Rookie wants to take a break. We'll take a timeout as well back after this on WOSM. Welcome back to the Supreme Court at Ottawa Glendorf High School. Coming up Sunday on WOSN will be a rebroadcast of the Ottawa Glendorf Fort Lyme Girls game. That was a good game <laughs> earlier today. And then at 7.30, Fort Recovery versus Botkins Boys. So make sure you tune into hoops right here on WOSN. A lot of great basketball being played around the area right now, Scoop. Yeah, and another great one here tonight at the Supreme Court. That was a great timeout by head coach uh, Jim Rookie. The fact that Ottawa Glendorf right now really is taking charge. They're being the aggressor at both ends. And once again, they come up with a steal. Finley gets it right back. We'll have an opportunity. Yes, they did. It's coming in from the left side with the ball knocked away from Jake Bishop. And I think the officials kind of letting them play both ways tonight. There's been contact, but it's been pretty even. Yeah, there's just been three fouls called. Yeah. So if both coaches know that uh, your kids have to adjust. You have to play with that uh, aggressiveness. And I think OG has done that here in the second quarter more than Finley, and that's been the difference. Entrance pass into Mag. Mag got bumped trying to pass the ball out. And as he's falling down, he's able to pass it off. Will Cordati got his hand in the passing lane, but deflected it out of bounds. And it will be Titan ball on the baseline. Yeah, look for Finley. They really stepped up their tenacity on defense. In fact, it, uh, they've only committed two fouls. They still have uh, four to give here in this uh, final two and a half minutes of the opening half. Meanwhile, OG just with that one team foul. So they're going to keep the pressure coming here. You have to play strong, play through it here. Make that adjustment as a player. Hunter Steck, Schulte cans the three. That's his second triple of the game. And he now has eight points. The Titans extend their lead to eight. In the meantime, 23-15. Yeah, you never want to get into a game of horse here uh, with OG at the Supreme Court. They just have too many proven shooters. And certainly Steck Schulte, one of those guys, when he catches and shoots in rhythm, he's awfully lethal. He's had a monster first half here tonight. And the thing you have to be careful with the Trojans is the Titans, once they get some, they send some blood in the water, they come in waves at you. This is starting to get to a point where they're starting to get stops, get scores. Hasn't been a real big transition game as Mag nearly had the block shot. They're going to call him for the foul, and he will send the Trojans to the line to shoot two. And the former Will Cordonier, 67% free throw shooter this year. Yeah, great job by Finley. Watch right there. They do a great job of really attacking the boards there. And again, uh, a a lot of ball there by Mag, but again, tremendous move inside by Cordonier. He draws the contact, unable to connect on the free throw. This has been a strength for Philly this season. They're shooting 80% yeah. as a team. So this is where they need to get to, but uh, this is probably not the type of game they wanted to officiate. They want a little bit tighter where they can maybe use get to the free throw, free throw line, throw line yeah. to their advantage. But there you see uh, Cordonier connect on the back end as he splits a pair. Right now, OG up a touchdown here, trying to close out an impressive first half. 
And a timeout going to be called by the Titans as they got trapped right on the baseline. As you saw Finley come out of that made free throw in their full court pressure. Titans lead by a score of 23 to 16. And we're going to keep it right here at the Supreme Court. So again, uh, it's been a game of very few whistles, just uh, two fouls for each team. Uh, really the only player in any sort of foul trouble at this point is Ryan Montgomery, but he's a big part of that Finley Trojan team. And you've seen Coach Jim Rookie rolling the dice and, and keeping him on the floor, just making sure he's playing smart. He's a heady kid. He's an athletic kid. Uh, it's the decision you got to make in this standpoint. Yeah, I think that's the right move. You know, you want to get the mileage out of him. You don't want to go home, uh, scratch your head. What would have happened <laughs> if I left him in? You know, he goes home with maybe three fouls for the night. So I, I think he's rolling the dice a little bit, but I think that's what you have to do especially against this Otto Glandorf team that really pressures you, makes things happen, and uh, really uh, makes it tough to lengthen your bench when you're coming here to the Supreme Court. Now the Titans will see if they have to face full court pressure again. We've seen both teams use it sparingly, and now the Trojans going to back out a little bit. I love the timeout yeah. by uh, head coach McLaughlin there, the fact that they threw it to the short corner. They immediately got double team. You got all five timeouts left, so instead of risk that turnover, you want to finish the half on a high note here. Takes momentum in the locker room and not lose all that ground you gained here in the second quarter in the last minute and a half. Seven-point lead for the Titans, and just inside a minute 20 remaining in this first half of action. Trojans bring some pressure out near midcourt. The pass to Mag was behind him. Parker comes up with it. Brings it down the floor all the way to the baseline. Nearly had it stripped. He's able to get it back under control and then get it back out to Wyrow. Back to Parker. And that shot is up. And oh, beautiful play that good. time by Parker. I loved how he was able to attack that defense, but he didn't force it, reset it, then he relocated, got it back. Drains the deep three. Titans looking for an answer. It's going to be a little bit short. Parker gets the rebound. Now he's going to slow it up and bring it down the floor. The Titans up four. Let's see if the Trojans play for the last shot of the first half here. Looks like they're going to slow it down as Hunter Stechel comes out to guard the ball. Bishop takes to his left, goes back to his right. And right now, if you're out of Glandorf, you have to remember the fact you have four fouls to give here, so do not let uh, Finley get any type of drive that might get into the paint. You want to try to maybe foul him ahead of time. That's a steal by White. Cuts into the middle of the lane, draws contact. And he won't be going to the free throw landing either. Well, watch it right here. Tremendous job by White. This is a smart foul right there. Look how he's able to get White there before he goes up for the shot. Yeah. And the fact that they also had four fouls to give, that's a smart play. But OG oh, now get the last shot of the opening half. Plus, he'll get the basketball to start the third quarter. So, an important possession right here for both these teams. Finley needs to get a stop. OG oh, would love to extend this lead. Inbounds pass, that was just a lob up to Colin White. He's fouled on the way up. Now he'll go to the line to shoot, too. Couldn't get the uh, shooting foul on the initial uh, drive, but going to get it this time. Now watch it right there. That's one yep. of those plays you, you know it's coming, but uh, stopping it's another, another element, you know. And that time, White, just so athletic, goes up over the defense here. And there he cashes in on the first of two from the stripe. So big point right there for White. who comes in shooting uh, just over 76% uh, from the free throw line on the season. Boy, he's putting some big numbers. We talked about that 44-point performance last night. That up has averaged over 21 points a game. And there he connects on the back end. So another solid uh, half here for White. Just White's first two points of the game, but the Titans lead 25-19. The foul, by the way, was on Luke Wyrow, his second. So two Trojan players with two fouls here in the second half. The drive before the buzzer will find its way through. Luke Wyrow will put it in for his seventh points of the game. We've played two quarters of basketball here at the Supreme Court. Ottawa Glendorf on the homestand, leading by a score of 25-21 at the break. Take a timeout. Back with more on WOSN after this. Hey, welcome back to Ottawa Glendorf High School. I'm Doug Jenkins with Scoop Miller as we get set for the second half of this non-conference showdown. Ottawa Glendorf leading the Finley Trojans 25-21. Scoop your impressions of the first two quarters that we've seen. That's a great game. I think we both expected that coming in. You have to remember the last five games in this series, four of them come down to single digits. Uh, we may be heading for another one here tonight. We also mentioned how the last ten outings between these schools, they've split uh, Ten together, so again, uh, been a highly competitive game. Only four free throws shot the opening uh, 16 minutes. 
look for both teams to try to maybe attack the basket a little bit better. You know, Finley comes in averaging over 15 free throw attempts per ball game. Meanwhile, OG just over 13 attempts per contest. Both teams shoot very well from the stripe. Both coaches probably going to try to make that adjustment, find a way to get some points from the paint because everything's been so highly contested. Hasn't been many easy looks on either side. No, there has not. That's for sure. Of course, Ottawa Glendorf has always looked at this as a measuring stick game of sorts. As Theo Mag, there you go, points in the paint. Hard to come by as that one swatted away. As Mag Boy trying to go up against numbers, couldn't get it. Yeah, that time he's triple teamed and credit Cordonier. That time he timed it perfectly, got all ball, gets the rejection, and now uh, Finley has a chance to strike first. Now they're going to feed it to him. Mag against Cordonier, spins back, goes right. He's had that move a couple times tonight, Scoop. Will Cordonier fakes to the left, goes back to the right, puts it in for two. Oh, you have to love it. That's a big time play by the junior Cordonier. That time he didn't panic, he got in there. He had to fake a couple times, but uh, made the head look awfully easy. Big time hoop. Colin White the drive, the kick, the three, as Grant Schrader will knock it down, his first triple of the ball game. Uh, great ball movement, great spacing that time by the Titans, and when they can catch and shoot in rhythm, we talked about it, you just don't want to get in the game a horse. And that ball hit the sideline as it went off the hands of Jake Bishop. Bishop, by the way, we should give credit for that buzzer beater to end the second quarter. That was some hard work he put in to get that shot. Boy, he really did. That was a, not only an intelligent play, that was just a big-time effort. That's one for the highlight reels for sure, but that <laughs> one just beat the halftime buzzer and made it a four-point contest. And now the Titans up to a five-point lead. Colin White was still looking for his first field goal, but... He's playing the part of the assistant or the assistor right now as he's hit Grant Schrader on two consecutive possessions for three-pointers. Yeah, and again, Schrader doing a great job of just kind of getting his feet set. He's ready to shoot that basketball when he gets in another shot in rhythm. And once again, another deflection, and this one's going to go off Finley. And again, that uh, Titan defense really starting to tighten up. And look at that stroke right there, string music from deep consecutive three balls there to open up uh, the scoring for OG here in this third quarter. Hey, you can see why Colin White has so many assists as they put so much focus on trying to stop him uh, offensively. That's a nice turnaround jumper by Hunter Steckschulte and the Titans are starting to roll here in the third quarter. Another sweet move by Steckschulte. He made that look awfully easy and Jim Rookie's seen enough. He's going to burn a full time out here for Finley. Yes, he will. We'll step aside. 6-12 remaining in the third quarter. The Titans have put their lead up to 10. 33-23 back after this. Welcome back to the Supreme Court at Ottawa Glendorf High School. Tonight's instant replay is provided by Union Bank. Union Bank committed to you. Doug Jenkins with Scoop Miller. As this non-conference showdown continues, the Titans starting to assert some dominance here in the third quarter, up 33-23. Had themselves a four-point lead at the half. They've extended it to six. Yeah, it's a quick 8-0 run after Finley scored the opening hoop, and there's a nice backdoor yes, cut, a nice assist there from Will Cordonier, and a great answer out of the timeout by the Trojans. Sam Ernst gets his first two points. Really like the footwork of Will Cordonier in the paint. He's very under control, sees the floor, and he's able to find two points, uh, this time giving up the assist. Down low to Colin White. White goes up, left it short, trying to draw some contact. Not going to get the whistle. Rebound pulled down Finley. A great job by Will Wy Wyrick inside. He was locked in one-on-one -on -one with White. He was held his ground there with very physical. was able to change that shot. Montgomery skip pass. Cordonier will put it up and will knock it down from the corner. Yeah, he's been their top three-point shooter all season long, averaging over 37% uh, from beyond the arc, and that's a big three ball right there. And uh, just that quickly, a 5-0 run here by Finley gets it back to a two-possession game. Be a foul on Finley there. It'll be on Jake Bishop, his first, team's first here in the second half. Titans had been up 10. Their lead cut down to five. White driving puts the shot up, and they're going to call him for a travel. Coach Tyson McLaughlin wants to know if there was some contact, but that will not be the call. It will be Finley coming back the other way, the chance to cut even more into the deficit. They'll watch it right there. I mean, a lot of contact, but they've been letting that go all yep. night long, so you got to give these officials a lot of credit. They've been very consistent tonight, letting both teams uh, play aggressive. Here's a long pass up ahead. Put on the air. Able to get it under control. Dishes it off to Bishop. Bishop will have to take it back outside. Picked up by White, well away from the bucket. Passes off left side, Wyrout. 
Back to Bishop and Steckshalty trying to fight through the screen with head over heels. There's a three from the corner left side. Why round? And now suddenly it's a two point game. So just when it looked like the Titans were starting to pull away, the Trojans come battling back and have pulled this to within two after being down 10. White going to get fouled on the release of the pass. And that will be the second foul on the Trojans here in the second half. And watch that foul coming up right there. And again, uh, you can see, see the arm being grabbed there. Sam Ernst was able to grab White. But again, uh, just a second foul uh, for both teams there. And there's a Euro step. Yes, it was. Callan White is able to get his first field goal of the game, I believe. Yes, but again, got away with the Euro. And there's that full court man-to-man -man pressure that forces a Finley turnover. So right now, OG really exerting herself defensively, as has Finley. And again, that's a very physical game. You need to get, get up into those guys. And right now, OG guarding all 94 feet, giving up nothing for free. Inbounds pass, Hunter Stack shouting. Gives it to Erford. Erford had a big three back in the second quarter. Gives away, gets it right back. Takes it to the free throw line. The sea of blue he was facing as he passes up to White. White left a little bit short. Parker the rebound for Findlay. A oh, big rebound by Parker. You have to keep OG to one and done, especially when you're playing from behind. And now Finley can maybe try to make OG work a little bit here at the defensive end. They've had some nice sets here in this third quarter. Governor gives it to a put on here for three. Knocks it down and we're back to a one-point game. Uh, great execution off a set play. That time Cordonier is able to uh, step back off the flare screen. And just like that, a one-point contest. Finley doing some awfully good things at both ends here in this third quarter. Nearly the steal. There's Colin White. White goes baseline. Goes hard to the bucket. They're going to give a jump ball. The possession arrow is going to give it to Finley. The ball well, that speaks Nothing volumes comes right easy. there. How many guys are going to just even get a tie-up when Count White goes strong to the rack like that? But again, a lot of basketball right there. And this time the arrow will belong uh, to Finley. So they'll have the basketball and a chance to retake the lead here as we uh, near the uh, three-minute mark here of this third quarter. That was Jake Bishop who forced the turnover there by causing that tie-up. It is a one-point advantage for the Titans. Parker gets it. Chandler swings it over to the right side where Bishop goes baseline. And the reverse lay-in, good for two. Jake Bishop, his six points in the ball game. Well, that's amazing. A 13-2 run after the coach rookie timeout. And uh, Finley retakes the lead here at the Supreme Court. Trying to back his way in, Theo Mag. Barely keeping his balance. He's able to give it out to Stack Schulte for three. That one is off the front of the rim. No good. Trojans want to run. They have numbers. Wyrow stops. Dishes back Montgomery. Fakes the three. Now back to, in, in the hands of Wyrow. Runs off the screen to his right, but going to back it away. A great job by Finley. Not only attacking the OG uh, pressure, but also uh, being patient, trying to get those looks they want. And right now, trying to extend the lead. Ball brought back outside by Bishop. Guarded by Schrader into the paint. Now passes left side. Montgomery shot in and out. No good. Rebound. And flying in to get that. Hunter Steck shot it. He'll give it up to White. White's had a tough time of it this game, but working around back to Steck shot it. And that one just stripped. Reaching in to uh, grab that one is Luke Byrow. Ball kind of brought through slowly by White. Wyrow very quick with his hands. Yeah, tremendous job by Wyrow again. He's challenging Colin White uh, all over the court tonight. That time he's just able to pick his pocket. And now Finley once again for that opportunity to get a little separation here as we hit the 92nd mark of quarter three. A little one point game and going strong to the rim and drawing contact will be Jake Bishop who will go to the line to shoot two, the 88% free throw shooter. Just will be the third and fourth free throws of the game for Finley. And again, I love what Finley's doing right now. The floor spacing's been excellent. Their patience's been excellent. When they see those opportunities to go one-on-one, -on -one, downhill to the rack there in the paint, they've taken it. And that time, a strong move by Bishop. And the lefty will get a pair. He hits the first of two. So great job there. Again, watch that move right there. It's a tremendous job. Great straight there. He draws the contact. 
And again, Bishop, uh, no secret, you know, he was second team all track a year ago. Yeah. You know, he's on everybody's radar, but uh, OG has really kind of kept him in check to this point. There he connects on the back end. So right now, Finley, after trailing 10, three minutes ago, has a three-point lead. Nice job breaking the press by the Titans, but that last pass was just a little bit behind. Erford will come up with it, gives it to Colin White. White's going to back it up now with a minute 12 remaining in the third quarter. They initially threw the double team. Now over to the corner. There's the three off the mark. Rebound, though, pulled down by Dave Westrick. And Westrick going to be bumped on the baseline by the Trojans. Well, that's a good foul by Finley. You know, that time uh, Westrick got positioned on the backside. He steered the offensive board. But uh, Finley not giving anything for free. Immediately, he felt the double teams. He felt the hands. He played strong with it. He gets a foul, but uh, OG will take it out of bounds underneath their own hoop. That foul was on Luke Wyrow. That's his third, team's third here in the third quarter. Colin White trying to spin back to the right, and the ball knocked away from him again by guess who? Jake Bishop. Yeah, Bishop's done a tremendous job there at that time, uh, giving up some size there to White, but certainly playing physical. There's a nice entry inside, but Finley once again doubles down, forces OG to reset it. Theo Mag trying to find a way inside. Now gives it up to Stack Schulte. Stack Schulte spins to the baseline. Up there back out to Colin White. White is going to be trapped. And let's say that a reach in violation will be committed there. So be the fourth foul against the Trojans here in the third quarter. Well, that's a tough break. I love what Finley's doing. You know, and all those ball screens, they're, they're hedging it nicely. But then they're doubling on the basketball. And that time they had White in a bad spot on the sideline double team. But they bailed him out with the reach. And now that's the fourth team foul here on Finley. So OG doing a much better job of attacking Finley, put pressure on that defense. And hopefully for OG, they'll have a chance to get to the free throw line here early in the fourth quarter. Stack Schulte gives the ball up to Schrader, or pardon me, that will be uh, Levi Underbrink. And now the Titans are going to play for the last shot of the third quarter, trailing by three. Yeah, this is a smart move by uh, Tyce McLaughlin here. They will get the ball to start the fourth quarter as well, so they want to execute here. Try to take the shot with maybe five seconds, give yourself a chance for an offensive rebound and a putback. Down to five seconds left. Titans going to need a shot. They've got it in the hands of their three-point shooter, but he's covered up. Give it back out. Steck Schulte going to leave that one three. There's a short, and that will do it for our third quarter. 38-35 is the score in favor of the Finley Trojans. We'll take a time out. Fourth quarter action coming up after this on WOSN. And tonight's scoreboard presented by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure X, Pergola X, Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alts Seamless Spouting. Doug Jenkins, Scoop Miller with you here on WOSN for this showdown between the Ottawa Glendorf Titans and the Finley Trojans. The Trojans found themselves down 10 in that third quarter, Scoop, and didn't bat an eye. Now they find themselves up three. Yeah, what a great finish the third quarter by Finley. They outscored Ottawa Glendorf the last four and a half minutes, 15-2 uh, to two to take a three-point lead, a tremendous possession on the defensive end by Finley to close out that quarter, forcing a 30-footer at the horn that was well off. See how the Titans respond, going hard to the rack from the baseline right side is Grant Schrader. Schrader now in double figures with 10 points. Yeah, we've seen that move a couple times tonight from Schrader. He's done an excellent job of breaking down that defense, taking that baseline, strong finish inside. With the ball, Jake Bishop being hounded. The ball is swatted by Mag. It'll go out of bounds and stay with the Trojans. They look at that Trojan comeback, really keyed by Will Cordonier. He had eight points in the third quarter. Jake Bishop had four points in that third quarter, but really Bishop's hard-nosed play, I think, was the big key for them. Yeah, that uh, kind of carried over, I think, to the rest of the team. Their defense was tremendous. Uh, after OG won a quick 8-0 run early in that third quarter, they completely shut down their offense, forced some tough shots. They, and I love how they finished defense possessions by hitting the glass and rebounding. The right side and into the hands of Jake Bishop. Bishop following three cans it with Theo Mag in his face. Wow, you talk about playing with confidence. Jake Bishop's doing exactly that. That was NBA range and then some. The guy all over and again, great ball pressure by Finley. They get a couple deflections. Colin White going in, trying to reverse lay won't go. Theo Mag though grabs the rebound, keeps the possession alive for the Titans. They're going to run a double team at him. 
And the Titans trailing by four with the ball, though. Hunter Steck, Schulte fires it to Erford. Erford wants to give it to White. White nearly lost it, but able to corral it, give it right back to Erford. Caden will get it back into the corner. He finds it, Schrader. Schrader inside the mag. Mag will be found. He'll go to the line to shoot two. It's been a hard fought way to get uh, two points is trying to get contact in the paint tonight. Watch it here. Great job of sealing this man there on the baseline. Then a nice strong dribble move and is able to uh, get it up there off the iron and draw the contact. So this is what OG needs to do. They need to try to lengthen this game out a little bit, get to the foul line. I love how they were able to isolate uh, Theo Mag downstairs. Their Mag hits the uh, first of two. Again, another excellent free throw shooter for the Titans, shooting over 79% on the season. The foul was committed by Chandler Parker. His first now five fouls against the Trojans. Titans have just committed one foul here in the fourth quarter. Second free throw off the mark. Colin White uncontested on the putback puts it in for two. Oh, nice play there off the miss. That time a White received a screen. He went cross court uncontested. That's going to lead to a steal here and a chance to uh, go on a run. White pulls up from three. Yen knocks it down and the Titans take the lead. Colin White helping lead the Titans back into this one. He's got five in the quarter now. Now another hustle play, points from the defense. Finley tries to answer right away. They miss, and OG comes with a big rebound as Kay Nerford goes up high there to snare the board, and now OG trying to extend their run, extend that lead. 43-41, a shot there. That three-pointer was from Luke Weirell. He's had the hot hand at times tonight for the Trojans, but it's the Titans with the ball and the lead. Colin White, turn around, and uh-oh, Colin White starting to wake up from the field scoop. Uh-oh, look out, Colin White just starting to take over. You know, he was held to one field goal through the first three quarters, and what an answer right there by Will Cordonier. String music from deep, and a quick 30-second timeout by Finley. We're going to keep it right here with 523 remaining in the fourth quarter, and 45 for Ottawa Glendor, 44 for the Trojans of Finley. Here you see the replay on the skip pass working around and then Colin White, who's been a little cold from the field, to be quite honest here, up until this fourth quarter. Now suddenly he's found the mark, and that is great news for Ottawa Glendor. Well, that replay showed the only time all night that Colin White's had the basketball without a Finley Trojan yeah. or two hanging all over him. But again, credit that Titan defense. They forced that turnover and then quickly looked to White there in transition. He spotted up catches and shoots and rhythm. He could do that. We know how lethal he can be. He hit six uh, three-pointers last night in that 44-point uh, record-setting performance against St. Mary's. And now he's come to life here in the fourth quarter after really being held in check as much as you're going to do. He had four points through three quarters. You ask any coach uh, in Ohio or anywhere if you could take those numbers and count why you're going to take them every day of the week, twice on <laughs> Sunday. But... Uh, but again, uh, both these teams have left it all out there here tonight. Colin White suddenly has 11 points in this game, so Titans with the ball and a one-point lead. It's still a lot to go here in this fourth quarter. Looking for the backdoor cut. Erford going to be fouled as he was caught in a double team there with Jake Bishop and Brody Barnes. And now fouls are starting to be a concern as right now that's the uh, six-team foul against Finley. So from here on out, OG will be in the bonus. Meanwhile, out of Landorf, committed just one foul here in the second half so they're going to really up the pressure they're going to really try to uh, get some takeaways with that ball pressure defense and yeah, they can really afford to uh, play very aggressive right now that ball tipped out of bounds is jumping in the passing lane there was Luke Weirau to knock it out one of the great things about this non-conference rivalry, so many ties between the two communities and the Weirau's uh, are from the Ottawa Glendorf area originally and uh, yeah, Luke Stad, the athletic director over at Finley High School, and that he's going to Luke Wire out playing very well tonight, and knocks another one out of bounds. Yeah, this is the ideal game for both these programs. You know, you're going to get tested for 32 minutes. You know, you're going to get exposed to some of your weaknesses, and uh, you're going to come back with a reason to get better the next day. But uh, this has been everything, and then some we expected here tonight. Uh, it started out with a fantastic JV game that came down yeah. the wire. The varsity is not disappointed as well. Skip out. There's Erford wide open. That's the guy the Titans want, and he knocks it down. He delivers with his second three-pointer of the ball game. 
Yeah, that's a breakdown that time by Finley. Erford shooting over 42% beyond the arc on the season. And again, you just could not let a guy like that catch and shoot in rhythm. Right now, the Titans on a big run. They enjoy a four-point lead here. Chandler Parker to Cordonier trying to back it in on Erford now. Throw it out to Montgomery, and that one hard off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound, Colin White. White, again, has been feeling it here in the fourth quarter. Gives it up to Erford, and Erford, that one off the mark. Theo Mack, the rebound, though, for Ottawa Glendorf. With a four-point lead and the ball into the paint. Couldn't find anything. And White fakes the three. Instead, going to put it on the floor. Goes hard into the paint, draws the contact, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. All right, now everything going OG's way. This is the type of game they want to get into. They came down, got that good three in transition. They really upped the pace, and that time you see White attack the glass. Finley forced to foul. Now Callum White will head to the charity stripe to shoot a pair, trying to get a little separation here, and he connects on the first of two. And now he's up to uh, 12 points. Remember, he only had two at the break. Yeah, he had those two free throws yeah. late in the second quarter, the only two points he scored. But, you know, the thing about Kyle White, yeah, you kind of expect him to get 20 every time out. <laughs> but he's a guy yeah. out there who's going to make his presence felt, even if he doesn't put the ball in the hoop. He's so athletic. His defense, his, his uh, leadership out there, and his aggressiveness kind of carries over. And there he connects on two. Extends that lead to six years. We're under the four-minute mark of this contest. You know what we've learned so far tonight, Scoop, is no lead is safe in this contest. So it's 50 to 44, but here's a wide open three for the Trojans. Quit out here just off the mark. Rebound pulled down by Theo Mack. No, you're right. It's been a game of runs all night long. And right now, uh, OG, uh, the current holder of a good run. Well, White thought about the three, thought better of it with a six-point lead. And Titans may try and bleed a little bit of clock. Remember the Trojans. Have seven fouls, so anytime they foul to stop a clock or anything at this point, it might be a little bit early for that, but let's stop the clock and put the Titans at the free throw line. Meantime, Ottawa Glendorf just one team foul. Going hard to the hoop and putting it in for two is Hunter Steck Schulte. Uh, what a fantastic move and finish by Steck Schulte, the 6'2 senior. All these guys you have to guard, they're so athletic. That's a big time hoop, big finish, and a steal as well by Steck Schulte, a two on one, he takes it all the way. Can't get it, but Theo Mack trailing the play will put it up and in for two. And the Titans are suddenly back up by 10, 54-44. And this is that game OG wanted to get into from the get-go, they want to get that tempo in their favor, try to get Finley playing a little faster than they want. Here's the thing, the Trojans normally would say stop the clock, they're down to one timeout left scoop. So and again, OG also has uh, five fouls to give, so they're not going to give anything for free. They're going to make Finley earn everything. Finley just has to start knocking down those looks. Under two and a half remain. Into the paint, trying to find something to do like Luke Weirau able to spin back to his left and put it up and in. Wow, fantastic job there by Wyrow. That time he's kind of double teamed in the lane, all alone there, and uh, checked his man off, was able to get a big hoop. Puts Wyrow into double figures. A timeout going to be taken by the Titans. 54 46, the score in favor of Ottawa Glendorf. 2 08 remaining in the fourth right quarter. And we'll take a break back with more after this on WOSN. Welcome back to the Supreme Court at Ottawa Glendorf High School. Doug Jenkins and Scoop Miller with the Titans up 54-46 here late in the fourth quarter. Looking at upcoming schedules for both squads here for Finley. Got a pretty good track run coming up. They'll have St. Francis. They'll have Lima Senior. That's always a great matchup when Finley and Lima Senior get together. And then St. John's on Tuesday the 17th. Of course, that Lima Senior game you can see on WTLW. As for the Ottawa Glendorf Titans, they'll take on uh, a 1-6 and six Bath team next Friday. Next Saturday, another great non-conference. I would say it's my favorite non-conference game of the year, bar none. Ottawa Glendorf, Lima Senior, especially when both teams are good, and especially when it's at Lima Senior. That game will be at WTLW. That's a, that's a can't-miss game. Then they'll take on Van Wert in league play on the 20th. At Van Wert, always a tough place for the Titans to play there. Yeah, it doesn't get any easier, but again, uh, they're being battle tested. There's a oh, great that's a set nice. the out of bounds. White takes it all away, and it goes in. Wow, Colin White. That time he was trying to slam it down. He had a lot of contact, but his strength and athleticism was able to get it up there off the uh, iron. It falls through. Trying to get a three on the other side for the Trojans out of the hands of Jake Bishop. Won't go. Rebound pulled down Theo Mag. He'll get it out to Caden Erford. 
That's been amazing the run that Otto Glandorf has gone on after Finley was playing so well. A 19-6 run heading into that last time out. And there's good pressure defense as Chandler Parker is able to force the turnover. So Finley will get the basketball down 10 as we hit the uh, 137 mark of this contest. Hunter Steck Schulte who knocked that one out of bounds. Parker will get Chandler Parker to the right side. Ryan Montgomery. Montgomery passes out to his right. Dishes back and gives it up to Wyrow. The Titans now, again, like you said, they can be really aggressive with only one foul up there. Stolen by Steck Schulte. Steck Schulte coming in hard from the right side. Lays it in for two. Uh, just smart basketball by Ottawa Glandorf. You know, they're just ball pressure, ball pressure. They're not going to that prevent defense. They're getting out there in them. They know they have five fouls to give. That time they get the steal and run out. What a great finish by Steck Schulte again. That's going to be a foul on Steck Schulte coming the other way. Now said the Trojans to the line to shoot two, trying to get back within 10 with exactly 60 seconds remaining. So watch it right here. A nice move uh, by Jake Bishop trying to create. And again, uh, time is of the essence right now. You're down uh, double digits here. But you also uh, have some proven shooters. And we've seen both these teams go on runs tonight. So Bishop will line up to shoot two. The first one rattles in. So great job there by the senior. Comes in shooting 88% from the free throw line. It's not a bad figure at all. And certainly the guy the Trojans want at the line at this juncture. Second opportunity coming up for Finley. Trying to get back within 10. And that one is good as well. 58-48, Trojans go full court. Now, again, any foul they commit will send the Titans to the line. Steck Schulte gives it up to White. White fires it to Erford. Needs to get across midcourt. Maybe waited a little bit too long. But Finley eventually will oblige with a foul and send the Titans to the free throw line. Almost a mix up there as Erford could have taken it across the timeline and Steph waited for the defense to catch up to him. Yeah, according to the clock, he had about one second left. That's awfully uh, tight there, but again, uh, <laughs> we're able to get to the foul line. And uh, getting to the foul line, that all came back to that aggressive play in the third quarter. We're able to get Finley in a little bit of foul difficulty, and now they're kind of reaping the benefits here. As you see, uh, the first of two by uh, Kay Nerford up and in. He's an 85% shooter, so right now it's kind of pick your poison for Finley if you have to foul one of these Titans. He's in double figures now as he hits the second free throw, and it's a 12-point Titan lead. 44 seconds remain. There's a long three. That one rims in and out no good. Steck Schulte, the rebound. He's going to be knocked down up by Wyrow, who picked up his fourth foul. And it'll be a long walk down the floor for Ottawa Glendorf and a couple more, excuse me, one of one free throws. This will be their final one of ones coming up. Another great defense position by the Titans. They force a long three, but Bishop did the right thing. You've got to put shots up. You've got to get points. You don't have timeouts left. But uh, credit Ottawa Glendorf once again. They finished off the possession by not just relying on their athleticism, but they did a great job positioning, getting some checkouts. They pulled down the rebound, were immediately fouled. Right now, OG would love to seal this thing at the uh, charity stripe. Opportunity for Steck Schulte to do just that. He's been quite the spark plug for Ottawa Glendorf tonight. But the first free throw off the mark. Theo Mack, the rebound. He'll go up strong. He'll draw the foul and go to the line. He'll be shooting, too. And that was uh, Hunter Steck Schulte's first miss from the free throw line all season. He was 100% <laughs> yes, uh, he coming was. in at 9 for 9. But look at that athletic rebound by Theo Mack. Just so many weapons on Ottawa Glandorf. And uh, when you have to contest each and every one of them for four quarters, they just have a tendency to wear teams down. And I think we're seeing that here tonight. So great job by Bag as he connects on the uh, first of two. See ben Best and Sam Ertz to re-enter the lineup now for Finley. But the Titans a chance to put this one on ice and extend their lead under a minute remaining and you can see the Titans sending a bunch of players to the bench right now. Second free throw is good as well. And wholesale substitutions. Five on the floor now for Ottawa Glendorf. That'll bring a standing O from the faithful here at the Supreme Court. Yeah, that's a well-deserved ovation. You know, these guys were pushed to the limit tonight. Give Finley a lot of credit for that. But uh, you expect this. You got two outstanding programs with great traditions. These two programs combined for Four state championship, three state runner-ups. In fact, obviously, uh, 
out of Glandorf, runner up a year ago, 12 Final Four finishes between the two. And now uh, out of Glandorf is going to maybe uh, run things out here as we hit the 22nd mark. This is going to be a quality win here for the Titans as uh, they hold service here at home, but uh, not before a few antsy moments. But as you mentioned, uh, Doug, uh, the crowd appreciates the effort they see from these guys at both in the floor. And they were not disappointed tonight as both teams left it all out there. OG's going to go home. 62-48 winners here against the Trojans tonight. That will do it. Ottawa Glendorf victorious. And they pick up their ninth victory on the season. We'll come back to wrap things up on WOSN right after this. And welcome back one final time to the Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium here at Ottawa Glendorf High School. Doug Jenkins and Scoop Miller with you. It's the game we thought it would be, Scoop. 62-48, Ottawa Glendorf knocks off Finley. I don't think that final score that was indicative is how really much of a battle this game was. Yeah, you're right. We talked about how uh, five of the last six contests have been single digits. Now, this one wasn't tonight, but uh, no one here left early because <laughs> this thing was in jeopardy uh, throughout the game. OG just really had that monster fourth quarter. They put up 27 points there in the fourth quarter against the Finley defense. I thought just kind of got fatigued down the stretch, but they left it all out there. What a great game here tonight at the Supreme Court. Absolutely. Let's get to our Stolle Insurance Group Stolle selection for our player of the game. Certainly, you can look both rosters for great performances. Uh, Ottawa Glendorf, the winning team, certainly had some very standout performances. But I like Hunter Steck, Schulte, uh, number 21 for the Titans. He finishes with a, a 14, which is good for second highest on the team, third highest in the game. But it was his hard-nosed play that really set the tone, I thought, early in the game. He was in the passing lanes. He knocked out a couple of threes. He got some offensive rebounds, some defensive rebounds when they needed. He was just really the player that the Titans needed tonight. Yeah, you're exactly right. You know, give this 6'2 senior a lot of credit. You know, he came to play tonight. He made his presence felt uh, right away in that first half. He had eight first half points, finished with six more in that second half for a total of 14. But it was his defense out there and his tenacity that kind of set the tone. And again, against Finley, you just can't take plays off. You know, things no. aren't always going to go your way, but you have to battle out there each and every possession. And certainly Hunter Stexley did that tonight. So our congratulations go out to him tonight on another outstanding performance by the senior. Oh, big thanks to uh, Tyson McLaughlin, the athletic director here at Ottawa Glendorf High School for setting us up as always. A great job by the crew. I do want a special thanks uh, to the WOSN crew. Of course, uh, Ben Reif, Megan Sherrick, uh, Cassidy Driscoll, Caitlin Henderson, Clay Jordan, and Marshall Jordan. This has been a blast scoop. I have not been to the Supreme Court in three years. And, uh, boy, it didn't disappoint coming back tonight. Yeah, it was fun work with you tonight. And you're always going to see great basketball here at Ottawa Glendorf. And uh, both uh, Finley and OG uh, gave these fans a, a thrill tonight. And uh, both these teams are going to win a lot of ball games yeah. here before this season's all said and done. And there you go, your final score tonight. Ottawa Glendorf 62, the Finley Trojans 48. For the crew, for Scoop Miller, I'm Doug Jenkins. Thanks for tuning in and following high school basketball here on WOSN.